Hello everyone, this is Adam Sanders, founder of SuccessfulRelease.com, an organization dedicated to helping men and women achieve financial and personal success after release from prison. After several years of working as a re-entry advisor, program leader, and teacher at San Quentin State Prison, one of the most common problems we found facing former felons was writing an effective resume. Men and women with felony convictions on their resume face some very unique challenges that a properly written resume can help overcome. As we'll discuss in more detail later on, your resume is often your first and perhaps only chance to make a positive impression on a potential employer, so it needs to be properly put together. In this video series, we'll take you step by step through the resume creation process in order to give you the absolute best chance of getting a job despite your previous mistakes. To begin, let's talk about who this video is for and who will benefit the most from it. First, we put this together specifically to help those former felons who are looking for a job now or will be looking for one in the future. It doesn't matter if your sentence was six months or 16 years, our advice will work for you. As we go through the different steps of creating a resume, we'll specifically call out tips for those with shorter sentences or longer sentences, wherever it makes sense. Next, we take great care to provide step-by-step -step details throughout these videos so that even if this is your first time creating a professional resume, you will be able to do so. If it is your first time, it can be a bit overwhelming, so we took great care to address most questions you might have throughout the process. Last, the advice we provide will also be very applicable for those who have already put together a professional resume especially if that resume was created before you spent time in prison. There's many tips and tricks that we've learned over the years that are specific to helping people who have a record find a job. Few other videos or books about creating resumes even touch on this. If you feel that any or all of these three describe your situation, I strongly encourage you to invest a little time into watching this video series. I'll believe you'll be glad you did. Over the course of this video series, there are five key things that you'll learn. First, we'll talk about what the true purpose of a resume is. This is very important because a lot of people don't really understand what they should be trying to accomplish with a great resume. Second, we'll cover how to put your resume together in a fashion that puts your best self first and minimizes the impact your record has on your ability to get a job as much as possible. When you have a record, doing everything you can to keep that from being obvious on your resume can greatly increase the number of interviews that you get. Third, we'll really get into how companies and hiring managers think, as well as how the hiring process works at many companies. The more you understand about the hiring process and what many hiring managers are looking for, the more successful you will be in securing a job. Then and this is what we spend the most time on, we'll take you step by step through the full process of creating a resume. We'll guide you through the complete process and provide you with a great resume template we created that has proven to be successful for former felons. Last, we'll talk about what you should be doing once you've completed your initial draft of your resume to be most successful. Now that we've talked about what will be covered in this video series, it's worth noting a few things that we specifically will not be covering. First, we won't be going over cover letters. Cover letters can be very important, and we'll be creating a separate video in the future covering them in depth. Second, we won't be covering references. Being able to find people who are willing to refer you to positions or act as references to a new employer can have a dramatic positive impact on your ability to find a job. It's such an important topic that we'll be putting together an in-depth guide to references in the future. 
For now, we'll only be lightly touching on the subject as it refers to a resume. Finally, we're not going to specifically discuss how to find actual job opportunities. That's another very large topic that deserves specific attention. For this video series, we wanted to be very focused on resumes, but we'll definitely be putting out additional videos in the future covering how to find job opportunities with a felony conviction. As you're putting together your professional resume, it's very helpful to keep a few principles in mind that can help guide you through the process. As you're creating your resume, you'll want to review these principles from time to time to make sure that what you're producing is in line with what a resume can actually help you achieve. First, you want to consider what the immediate goal of your resume is. Many people assume that the goal of your resume is to get a job. While a resume is an important tool in the process of finding a good job, the goal of a solid resume is more specific. First and foremost, your resume is used to get you to the first stage of the hiring process, an interview with the potential employer. Your resume needs to stand out enough that it doesn't end up with all the others that get thrown out in the trash without any contact from the employer to you. There's various statistics about this, but on average, less than 20% of people who submit a resume actually get interviewed, and often much less. The primary job of a well-crafted resume is to make sure that you're not part of that 80% of people who are rejected without any chance to even talk to the employer. We'll go through this in much greater depth later on, but being able to provide a brief and impactful summary of your skills, abilities, and accomplishments is absolutely vital if you want to stand out from the crowd. Most hiring managers spend less than a minute reading through your resume before deciding to actually interview you or dropping your resume in the trash. If you want to get an interview, you need to make a good impression quickly through your resume. The good news is, is that the vast majority of people out there don't understand this and have very boring, very boring resumes that are just plain bad. A weaker resume with lesser experience or skills but that's put together well, can often beat out a stronger resume that doesn't do a good job of showing its owner's strongest features. The second principle to keep in mind is all about professionalism. Regardless of the job that you're applying to, from a position working in a high-rise office building or digging holes in the ground for road construction, you need to appear as professional and mature as possible. You don't want to give potential employers any indication that you have a criminal conviction and you absolutely must show that you can be a productive and dependable employee who will follow the rules and always get the job done the right way. When it comes to your resume, you can fairly easily demonstrate a high level of professionalism and competence that separates you from many others by submitting a properly formatted, professional-looking resume. This is especially true for more blue collar jobs where the great looking resumes are even less common. You can't give employees any reason to lump you in with the negative stereotype about former offenders. You have to show that you're one of the good ones who made a few mistakes in the past but learned from them and are now better prepared and more motivated than other candidates to do a great job. You also want to ensure that your resume is honest, but still shows you in the best light so that you're able to put your best self forward through your resume. It can be very tempting to include a few things in your resume that are not 100% true. You want to make yourself look just a little bit better and increase your chances of getting that interview. What's the harm in that, right? In reality, this is a really big risk and often a big mistake. As a former offender, you can't assume that you'll get the benefit of the doubt with former employers. It's very likely that they will take any indication of honesty very seriously and terminate your application if they discover you were in dishonest in any way. If you get to the point where an employer is following up on your resume, they're pretty serious about considering you for the position. The last thing you want is to go through the whole process only to be denied because you made a few small lies on your resume. 
A better approach is to be honest with the information you include on your resume, but smart about how you include it. You will likely have to tell the hiring manager that you have a felony conviction on your record at some point, but you don't have to do that right away. Your resume should make all the best aspects of yourself obvious while also downplaying your weaknesses. We'll be spending a lot of time covering how to do this in detail later on. This brings us to our last principle, which is delaying revealing that you have a felony conviction until you're able to talk to somebody face to face at the company you're interested in. Letting a potential hiring manager know that you're a felon through your resume tends to give you the lowest chances of actually being hired. If they find out before you've had a chance to talk to them in person, it's much easier for them to ignore your resume completely and focus on other candidates. A better approach, and one we'll go over in more detail later, is to do everything you can honestly in order to delay the revelation that you have a felony conviction on your record. It's much more likely for an employer to hire you regardless of your record once they've had a chance to meet you in person and you have demonstrated that you're a professional person who comes to an interview prepared. Instead of seeing you as just another faceless applicant, they'll have a much better understanding of who you are, which makes turning you away from the job much more difficult. If an employer finds out earlier on in the process that you are a former felon, you're certainly not doomed to failure, but it can hurt your chances a bit. If it is a job you're interested in, you should still apply and see what happens. So these four principles are critical to your success as you're putting together your resume. Throughout the process of writing and updating your resume, take a minute to run through them from time to time just to keep them in your head.